Elon Musk capped off his tumultuous first week as the owner of Twitter Inc. by carrying out sweeping job cuts while complaining that advertisers have slashed their ad spending on the platform over concerns about how he will handle content moderation. The constant drumbeat of news and change created anxiety among workers there, with some responding with humor. This is vCircle Future. What we are going to talk about today is, what will Twitter 1.0 version and 2.0 version look like after Musk took over Twitter? In an interview with someone close to Musk, we can roughly understand the Twitter 1.0 version, which is mainly to make a brand new combing of the original old Twitter, which probably includes the following aspects. First, cleaning up the platform and creating some sort of verification system. So users are real people, and that will make advertisers and users a much better platform to share information and ideas than the current system, where bots and, you know, sort of attack robots go after everything you. By knowing who the users are and creating this verification, I think the platform will be a much better place for users. Second, it's about creating a subscription model so that not all revenue is derived from advertising. Taking some of the power away from advertisers and putting the power back into users. As 90% of its revenue comes from advertisers, several Twitter previous advertisers have suspended advertising on Twitter, and even stopped posting too. Mr. Musk blamed what he called, a massive drop in revenue, on, activist groups pressuring advertisers. We've done our absolute best to appease them, and nothing is working, Mr. Musk said at an investment conference in New York. Maybe Musk had anticipated this, he proposed to raise the price of the original Twitter Blue from $4.99 to $7.99, and his goal of this move was to diversify Twitter's revenue structure. To avoid those organizations or advertisers with extreme political leanings dictate the future development of Twitter. Of course, he tried to add more features for Twitter Blue. Like, account verification, half the ads, posting longer videos and seeing their, quality, content receive priority ranking, etc. Third, building the creator community. Where creators want to be compensated for putting great content on platforms. Provide great monetization for creators. And that's really a focus view on which is getting great creators back on the platform in a way for them to make a living. Fourth, reduce costs by 10% and let the company live well in the recession. The most direct and fastest way is to fire the very overpaid Twitter executives. Musk did that on the first day of taking over. Next is to lay off more employees. Most of the layoffs are at the top and on the project management side, where many of the projects have not come to fruition. Mr. Musk addressed the job cuts, tweeting, Unfortunately there is no choice when the company is losing over $4 million per day. Last, Elon is digging in now to see what kind of problems he's got to solve it. After taking over Twitter, Musk changed his signature to Twitter Complaint Hotline Operator, he has an open mind and accepts everyone's comments on Twitter. He tweets on November 9th, inviting everyone to leave their complaints. Elon loves trying to solve the most difficult problems in the world. And this is definitely one of a show. In the advertisers event, he still keeps trying to convince wary advertisers to stay on Twitter. He said Twitter is attempting to better satisfy advertisers' needs, such as integrating paid ads into so-called recommended tweets, letting verified subscribers post high-quality videos that are up to several hours long, allowing both brands and creators to earn revenue on their accounts by enabling product sales directly in the app. We know he is working on all the problems. Good luck to him. All mentioned above, we called it Twitter 1.0 version. What the Twitter 2.0 will look like? Let's guess. First, we chat like. The billionaire spelled out some of his vision at the New York Investment Conference. The goal, he said, is to create a super app called, X.com, building on plans he hashed out more than 20 years ago when he helped build what is now PayPal Holdings Incorporated. Such super apps like WeChat, which has a large user base in China, allow users to message others and send people money, among other features. Second, TikTok like. Musk has posted a poll asking whether to bring Vine back, around 70% voters said yes. What's Vine? Developed independently but bought and launched by Twitter in 2013, before a good portion of the TikTok generation was even born, Vine was a short-form video platform that hosted 6-second clips on loop. Despite accumulating 200 million users in its relatively short life, Vine was axed by the parent platform in 2016. 
Why does Elon Musk want to bring back Vine? Though nothing has been confirmed by Musk himself yet, the answer seems pretty clear. It follows an ongoing trend we've been seeing across the original social media platforms. Put simply, they're all trying to replicate the TikTok algorithm. Third, Web5. We can expect the future incorporation of cryptocurrencies and the digital ecosystem into the commerce and creator element of Twitter, since Musk is a crypto guy and Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter, became Bitcoin's spiritual leader. He predicted Bitcoin would replace banks, bring economic opportunity to entrepreneurs in the developing world, and incentivize investments in renewable energy. Dorsey's motivation for pursuing Web5 may stem from his belief that Web3 will never achieve true decentralization. He has publicly criticized Web3 and the venture capital community that supports its development. He said, Web3 is ultimately a centralized entity with a different label. Dorsey's rationale for Web5 is that while the current internet democratized the exchange of information, it is still missing an essential component, the reclamation of personal identity. Web5 looks to put the control back in users' hands. Imagine a new Twitter integrated all these good things together. We look forward to seeing the future of Twitter.